everybody, Bobby G here, and along with the lovely Mrs. G. Hi. You look very nice tonight, Mrs. G. Oh, thank you. So guys, tonight, um, first of all, Merry Christmas. It's December 19th. It's almost Christmas time, so we got our little Christmas outfits on. And we are outside of Harris here in Laughlin, and tonight we are hitting up the range. I think Mrs. G is excited. Yeah. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Okay. So guys, we've eaten here before. Uh, we are not lucky enough to come here too often. We think this is one of the nicest restaurants in the Mojave Valley. Um, this will actually finish up to our, uh, our series of the prime rib in Laughlin. I think this is the last place that we haven't tried. Yep. So uh, we're going to head inside, guys. We're going to bring you along and uh, we'll see how it is. Give you our thoughts during and after. Bye. Bye. Look at what's that behind us? <gasps> the, the range. range. Right? This is the last of the prime rib reviews. So nicer restaurant. Mrs. G doesn't let me wear a hat. So we're going to go on inside, check this place out, bring you guys with us, and give you our final thoughts afterwards. Are some of the specials they have right now. Quick look at the menu. Bunch your selection. There's your steaks, entrees, appetizers, soups and salads, and the sides. The range. They just brought some nice looking bread and butter. Looking all pretty. All right, so we are seated here at the range. Um, had a chance to look over the menus, which we just showed you. So, you gonna have a drink? Yes. What are you gonna have? Peach Bellini. Peach Bellini. And I think I am going to try their bourbon old fashioned. Um, that's probably one of my favorite drinks to make, as well as to uh, partake in. And then um, they have those specials that they showed us. I think we're going to try the Oysters Rockefeller tonight. And then what are you going to have for dinner? Prime rib. Prime rib. Yeah. So that'll be the last of our prime rib review. We'll share that. And uh, I'm, I may try uh, like a, a filet and lobster tail. Not quite sure. Looking over the menu. We'll decide what we want. Looking forward to dinner. It's very nice in here. So nice. So far. All righty, guys. So our drinks just showed up. Tracy has a peach bellini, their version. Um, it's made with peach schnapps, not peach bellini, correct? We don't have peach. And I got a Maker's Mark Old Fashioned. Cheers, my love. Tracy says hers tastes mostly like champagne with very little peach. Um, mine tastes like Maker's with some grenadine in there, a little bit of muddled cherries. Um, just with both our bartending background, the, the drinks are so-so. I think I would have expected uh, quite a bit better drinks at an establishment like this. I'm hoping the rest of the food is much better. All right, guys. So we did something that we normally don't do. <laughs> uh, we sent the drinks back. Uh, so the old-fashioned, just it just tasted like it was uh, whiskey with grenadine in there. A little bit of muddled cherry, um, then no simple syrup or sugar or citrus of any sort. It was not very good. And Tracy's peach bellini more or less tasted like champagne with a, a little dash of peach schnapps. In there. So we just went back to the old staple of iced tea. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So our oysters Rockefeller just showed up. I have to admit, I have never had Oysters Rockefeller before. Um, I've heard a lot about it. I like regular oysters, fried oysters, raw oysters. So looking forward to trying this. What do you think of it, Tracy? How's it look? It looks amazing. Does it look amazing? Yes, it does. Okay. 
but we'll be digging in here shortly. This is my first time trying Lister's Rocket Filler. Never had this before. It is amazing. Hope so. Is it good? All right, we'll give this a shot here. Try this one right So here we go. Oysters Rockefeller. What is, what's, what all's in here? Spinach. Uh, tomato? Yep, there's a tomato, there's, it's a bechamel. Uh, scoop it all out, huh? All right. Okay. I don't think I'm a big fan of what you're talking about. All right. So we just got our Caesar salads. I'm going to go ahead and dig in here. Looks pretty damn nice. It does. Fresh nice romaine, Parmesan cheese, some nice bread, crouton bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That dressing is delicious. Yes, it is. Very good. So, our food just showed up, our main course. Tracy has her prime rib, medium rare, with a Yorkshire pudding. I have the surf and turf, which is a filet with a lobster tail. We've got some drawn butter right there. Some aju for Tracy. We have garlic mashed potatoes and some asparagus. Everything's looking amazing. Amazing? Amazing. Are you dying over there? I am. Why? Because I want to eat. <laughs> Tracy is trying the prime rib, the last prime rib in the whole prime rib series. I'm going to go ahead and dig into this filet. Oh this cuts like butter. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's mm -hmm. looking delicious. But you try yours first. Do it. Very good. Very good. Oh, gonna try some filet. Very good filet. Um, nicely seasoned. A little bit of salt there. Very tender. Um, enjoying it very much. It's incredibly tender. Um, lightly seasoned. Um, it's, it's delicious. It's melting around. Pretty good. So far. All right. Yep. My mom loves lobster. So wish you were here with us. Yeah. <laughs> Butter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like? Mm -hmm. All right, the table's been cleared. We are both very full. They just brought us, looks like a couple of nice little chocolates of some sort. Okay, so we just received our bill. Main steakhouse. We have our oysters, rocker filler, uh, appetizer, Caesar salad, eight ounce filet, lobster potato, prime rib, mashed potatoes, asparagus, two ice teas. Total is one eighty four thirty eight at tax. One ninety nine eighty two. So that would be our total. Hey. I have my hat back on. That means we are done eating. <laughs> we just finished having dinner at the range here inside of Harris, which is behind us. And uh, we just want to give you some of our final thoughts. Absolutely. So, do you want to start? Sure. I had the prime rib. The quality of the meat was amazing. It, it literally melted in your mouth. It was delicious. I like mine with more seasoning. 
but it's nothing that you could complain about. It was wonderful. Yeah. I had the filet, uh, mm -hmm. filet mignon with a lobster tail. Um, both, I think, were spectacular. Mm -hmm. The quality, the meat, the tenderness, um, the way it was cooked, everything was great. Lobster tail. Now, I've had lobster in Maine. Crazy's from New Hampshire, uh, New England. So she, she's real spoiled when it comes to lobster. But for lobster in the middle of the desert, it was damn good. Uh, the service, which uh, was Brandy, Brandy and, and uh, Ramona was Ramona, the, the, yeah. her helper or assistant, whatever you want to call that. Um, service was spectacular. Wonderful. <clears throat> the sides were pretty good. Yep. Um, the asparagus was all right. Nothing too special. Um, the potatoes were really good. Mm -hmm. um, we had one little mix up and that was uh, we had ordered drinks. I had ordered a... Um, old fashioned Tracy ordered a peach bellini. We weren't real happy with their drinks. We asked them if they could just take them back and we exchanged them for iced teas mm -hmm. and we had iced tea. So, you know, and I don't know if they just make it different than what we're used to or what are the case is. Not going to get into that too much. We just weren't really pleased with them. Um, you know, you're going to pay top dollar for a drink. It should be something that's acceptable. We, but we, we were there for the food. When we were there for the food. So, and this was sort of our final on the uh, prime rib challenge of all the different places in Laughlin. Now, I tried some of Tracy's prime rib, and I thought it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. The quality of the meat was probably better than all the other places. Absolutely. Taste-wise, though, we still would have to go with Daniel's. Yep. We think Daniel's is probably the best bet, the best seasoned. Um, you know the quality of the meat isn't quite what it is here, but there's a huge difference in the price. Oh, <clears> and, but uh, So, number one, our number one choice at this point would be Daniel's. Mm -hmm. Number two would be Bighorn. Bighorn Cafe. In, in the River Lodge there. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, this would be number three. And number three would be here. And, and then, I'll tell you what, the Regency is right up there with those three. Yeah. They really are. They, yeah. they was very good. Yeah. So, you know, everything was great. Mm -hmm. um, this was a sort of our Christmas present to ourselves. Um, they definitely get a thumbs up absolutely but, you know and but this is a little bit different level dinner yep. um you know we dropped a couple bills on this one with tip uh, i think we, we tipped you know we always we always preach about tipping very mm -hmm. well uh i think we tipped 25 percent on this and yeah. our bill was about 200 dollars before tip so anyway guys um we hope you have a wonderful christmas yes happy new year and we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching and all the support and all the kind comments. And hopefully we can bring you some more this next year. Good night. Bye-bye.